first of all, uh, happy with the win. Uh, always um, excited about that part. Um, thought we played well and, and controlled the game. Um, you know, there were some spots where I felt like um, – uh, got a little bit sloppy. Um, you know, I felt like the, the sense of urgency was not quite the same as it was when we were down at GV or playing against Ferris. And, um, you know, it's uh, a little bit of human nature. I think you're playing the top two teams in the country. Uh, 18 to 22-year-old kids get uh, a little bit more um, amped up for that than they, they do, a, um, you know, a game where a team's coming in with maybe one, one win. But, um, you know, we got to do a better job of, uh, as a whole, coaching staff, the players, uh, n not uh, uh, reading into it too much and just playing our football game, um, executing at a higher level. So um, we talked about it. Uh, the guys are aware of it. Um, you know, we got to do a better job as a staff preparing them for that. But at the same time, um, you know, we cannot uh, play the same football game we did on Saturday and beat Saginaw Valley. So uh, going to have to be a lot sharper on Saturday than we were last weekend. When we look back on it, uh, I think there's going to be some guys that um, – you know, could we have done this in this game a little bit better to maybe get one more? Uh, you know, you always go back and, and uh, kind of look at the season as a whole of maybe could have got one here or uh, not. But then there's also some games you're down by uh, 20, 24 to 7 at halftime at upper where we probably could have saw it go the other way as well. So uh, a lot of positives, um, you know, but our, our focus right now is uh, not only uh, beating Saginaw Valley, um, you know, to send our seniors off in the right way, but to have a six and four record, climb one more spot in the GLIAC standings, uh, go into recruiting with a little bit of momentum and, and so on. So um, a lot to play for still this weekend, and, and I feel like our, our locker room feels that same way. We're getting better, I'll say that. Um, you know, I think coming into the fall, inexperienced Q, inexperienced up front, um, that was something that we highlighted right from the get-go and, and um, have tried to get those guys to uh, come along. I feel like we've matured at all those spots throughout the fall. Um, you know, different um, teams present different uh, 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 issues for us, if you will. Um, you know, so our game plan changes from week to week just based off where we think we can go attack and where we can have success. So, um, but um, I feel like they're coming along uh, to the point where, uh, you know, we don't have to go into a game like we did against uh, Fair State a couple weeks ago where it's, going to be as heavy throwing the football. Um, I feel like we trust those guys up front a little bit more. Um, of course, uh, you know, Will gives us everything he's got when the ball's in his hand, so he's got to touch it one way or another. Um, but, uh, you know, even from a protection standpoint, I feel like we're getting better. Those first couple weeks of the season, uh, when everything's moving pretty fast, we gave up quite a few sacks. And, and um, again, that has a lot to do with not only an inexperienced line, but an inexperienced Q running himself into some of those pressures. So. Um, as a whole, I feel like we're getting better. Um, you know, I'd like it to get to the point where when we're playing those top teams in our league, we're not so one-dimensional. Obviously, that's going to make us tougher to defend, but um, we're working on it. The guys are getting better, uh, emphasized every single week, and, and um, you know, hopefully we'll keep moving forward. Yeah, a long time coming. I, I feel like, um, you know, when you're in a locker room, it's different, you know, outside looking in. Uh, his numbers have not, uh, you know, wowed anybody in terms of what those totals are. But what he does for our football team, um, you know, you can't uh, put that into words. Um, I think I talked about it after the game on Saturday, uh, him and along with the, some of the other guys in that class. But uh, Will especially, what he does in the weight room offseason, um, his voice in the locker room, and, of course, the effort he gives us on the field. Um, you know, there's games where, you know, he gets five or six carries, and then he's asked to be in pass protection uh, the rest of the game where he's eaten, uh, you know, 6'2", 245 pounds coming from 10 yards away and, and um, just pops right back up and is willing to do it again on the next play. So to see him get that honor uh, is very well deserved. Um, you know, we were talking about it as a staff yesterday. It's kind of, um, you know, over the last four years, uh, culmination of everything he's done to be honored in that way. It's finally to see him start getting some of that recognition because, um, unfortunately, we haven't been able to uh, – you know, maybe run the football as consistently as we want to to where the tailback's going to get those those nods. So, um, but it was awesome for him. Uh, very happy to see it. Uh, he's as important as anybody as we have to the, the offense. Says I'll answer that part first. What his load will be will be dictated on how the game goes. I mean, if we can run the football, he's going to see it uh, often. Um, you know, if if we cannot move the ball on the ground, then we find different ways to get him involved in the pass game. Um, you know, whether it be with screens or swings or whatever it might be. But, um, yeah, that's 
like anybody, you go into it with a game plan that you think you can go attack them in certain spots with, and, and uh, if it goes well, then you, you keep feeding them or whoever it might be at that point. But um, if not, then we'll make our adjustments and do whatever we have to do to try to win the football game. Like I said, any time we can get a win at this level, um, it's a positive. Uh, you know, we play what I think are the two top teams in the country back to back and um, emotional games, uh, high energy, um, physical games. Uh, to be able to come out of those two weeks healthy uh, is one thing, but then to regroup when we get back home after being on that road trip, um, you know, to get our guys back to where, uh, you know, it's all our focus is on Minot. Um, says a lot about our locker room, and and um, uh, I think our guys are playing for the right reasons. Uh, you know, there's nobody looking at our record saying we don't have anything to play for anymore. Uh, we got regrouped after GV, and, and um, you know, it was the next opportunity was against Minot. So um, I was uh, happy to see the guys approach it that way. Uh, again, you know, the sloppiness in, in times, um, that's probably a lot of the coaching staff thinking that we, we left some stuff out there. I don't think it was an effort or uh, uh, an energy standpoint from that, looking back on it that way. But, um, you know, I, I thought the guys approached it well. Defensively, we, we played really well. I don't think they, they had much. And, and like I said earlier, I think we controlled the whole football game. It's just probably me getting a little bit greedy, thinking we probably should have scored touchdowns rather than field goals when we got down in the red zone. So, um, but uh, yeah, happy with the way they responded. Um, again, very talented. Uh, I think, um, you know, you go back to the beginning of the year, there's some games out of conference that I feel like uh, Coach Brady probably wishes they could have had back. Um, you know, like we all get to at this point in the season, you're, you're kind of looking back, wishing you would have had a, a do-over with some of them. But um, they're talented. Uh, they've played multiple cues. They've got speed on the outside offensively. Young tailback that I think is uh, as talented as anybody in the league, uh, especially when he gets in space. Um, you know, defensively, uh, they just had the defensive player of the, the week in the, in the country with what he did last week against Northern. And, um, but they're talented. They, the, the three linebackers they play are, are big. They're physical. They run well in, in the pass game, so they can cover a lot of ground. And then, uh, you know, Saginaw's always got uh, a D-line in, in secondary that um, could give us fits if we don't, you know, can't get off press or can't protect up front. So uh, we're going to have to play well. Um, you know, the, the record I don't, I don't think speaks for how good they are. Um, you know, coming in here at 500 as well. So, um, you know, I, I like that we get them at home. Um, you know, obviously taking that trip on the last game of the season, but um, we're going to have to play well for four quarters in all three phases to beat them. Um, there's not a whole lot that's changed in our minds. Saginaw's always been one of the top teams in the league, and, and we still look at them that way.